What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and it is Friday and we are doing another player review slash breakdown slash training guide. So people were asking me today in the live stream to do the English league selection from September 23 and this is the pack that you see here. So you can actually max out all of these guys very easily. They're very easily trained up. There's one or two guys in here that I think are worth it. The rest are, I don't think that they're worth it at all. If you are a newcomer, any of these players are going to be better than the standard versions, depending on how you train them up, and if you have the, the means to do so with the trainers, um, you know, if you have the GP, if you want to reset the players past September cutoff. Um, but yeah, there's probably only about two or three really uh, key ones in here that I want to look at, right? You can clear this agent as well. You get 11 spins. It'll cost you 1100 to guarantee that you get any player that you want in here. It's 1100 coins to clear all this agent. You have a starting 11 in here. Uh, you've got your right back. You've got your center back. You've got your left back that can play either side in Tete. Um, you've got a lot of different variety of players going on here, right? So I'm going to take a look at this guy first of all, because a few people have asked me about him and they've said that he's got super sub fighting spirit. He's got solo control, uh, soul control, first time shot, rising shot. And he also has 26 levels to go, right? Um, I don't think that if you are... Listen, the two most important positions in the game, if you're starting off or you're trying to kind of get up the, the, the rankings, right, and improve yourself, very easily is DMF and Striker. DMF is the most important position. I'll have a video out on that. I already have one for eFootball22. I will have a video out on that as well. It's the most important position to control the play. Um, and then up front, you need somebody that's able to bang it in right when you get the chance you need to be able to finish your dinner and that is why i would say that a lot of these uh, strikers some will work for you some will won't work for you but i would say invest in a top 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 class center forward nobody should be using anyone but latara martinez or mbappe if they're staying road to glory free to play with gp yes these guys will be good if you get them on a lucky spin you've got acceleration speed Balance is going to kill this card, even though it's a goal poacher. So I'm not going to really focus too much on him. We also have, uh, we will take a look at Cliver. So yes, he's got good pace, good dribbling, good tight possession. Everything goes 29 levels. Very overpowered card. Extremely, extremely good on the ball. Isn't a prolific winger, but is a Roman flank. Has early crosser, has pinpoint crossing, has double touch, soul control, flip flap, can do the ball roll. Extremely skilled player. And I definitely think he's one to look out for as well. And when we actually take a look at his training guide here, you will see that we have just gone crazy with the dribbling and dexterity. Yes, he's going to have an issue with his stamina, right? But you're going to be bringing him on or else starting him and playing maybe 50 minutes to 60 minutes and then wheeling him off and then bringing somebody else on as a super sub, right? Um, I wouldn't be la He wouldn't be lasting the whole game. Even if you train up his stamina, even 10 more points into that and go 15 with lower body strength, you're going to have maxed out speed. But stamina is still going to be at like 80 do you know what i mean so there's no real point you're still going to struggle with the stamina stick counter target on him if you do want to get him but these guys are a dime a dozen lads this what makes this guy unique is the fact that he's got some brilliant player skills but his form is inconsistent which is a bit of a concern as well right so i am going through these quite quickly um we also have tete here we'll take a look at him in a second as well i have him up here again a fairly okay card a lot of these cards have an issue, lads, because of the lack of player skills or the lack of stats that go very high. Um, these are kind of weak enough versions of the cards. We have also got him here maxed out. So we've got 88 aggression, 85 speed and acceleration, and 84 stamina. And he does have pinpoint crossing and nearly cross, so we've put 82 into his lofted pass. That's the best build. We also will take a look at O'Shea here, the Irishman. He's down as a destroyer. Again, lacking those all-important player skills. And, you know, why invest the time and the player skills and legacy transfers and all of that into a player like this if you get him when you can just buy somebody on the GP marketplace with every single skill? You know what I mean? I already have a top center backs for all budgets video out. That is another issue with some of these cards is that they are lacking some key skills and key player um, stats, right? So even though he's 90 aggression and 75 acceleration, he doesn't have blocker, he doesn't have acrobatic clearance, he doesn't have man mark, and he doesn't have slide and tackle. Um, so that is another kind of concern there. The same with Jackson, right? So from Chelsea, you've got a center forward, very similar, um, but just a different bit of advice is that if you are using somebody like Lautaro Martinez or Mbappe, they're kind of end game players that you don't really need to upgrade unless you get a better version of that card or you get a, a, a legend or an epic or somebody that you're able to train up and you get lucky in a player of the week, right? This guy, again, has excellent stats for the position you want to be playing him in. 88 finishing, 83 acceleration. Has a bit about him as well as a goal poacher. He's tall, he's strong, he's physical. But he's got no player skills, lads. He doesn't have first-time shot. Um, 
He has acrobatic finishing, but he doesn't have any dribble skills or anything like that. So, you know, pick the players that will do the job for you if you want to. Obviously, um, you know, within your budget or whatever. Um, I would also take a look at Chong, right? So Chong is actually an interesting player. He's down as an attacking midfielder. This is a very, very good card, lads. It's got extremely good player skills. If you do spin him, don't discount him too quickly, right? True pass and low lofted pass. He's also got long range curler, soul control, cut behind, sombrero, gamesmanship and track back. He can play left wing, right wing, center mid or attacking mid, which is brilliant. And he's also down as a hole player. Hole players are not as effective in eFootball 24 at the moment um, as they were in eFootball 2023, but they're still unbelievable. Like they're probably about 90% of where they were in eFootball 2023. If you're a newcomer, that won't really matter to you. But if you've played eFootball 23, you'll know that the best attacking midfielders were always hole players like Pedri, Sané. Uh, Eze, any of those guys, right? Um, so I do like this guy when you max him out. He's got really key, good stats, really good skills, acceleration, balance, offensive awareness, ball control, all in the high 80s or mid 80s with the boost. Um, he's going to be very, very decent as a whole player. Sancho, again, you've got Sancho and Clivert that are very similar. Ball control, dribbling, acceleration, balance. Sancho's got some excellent player skills, but there's just so many good wingers in the game now that unless you have... Um, nobody else, you can already get like, you know, Dembele or Sané or any of those guys that are out wide options, right? So realistically speaking here, to make this video short and sweet, Ariel is just your average goalkeeper. Um, I would say that the real ones that you're going to be looking at here are these three. Basuma, who we have here, again, he has that same issue with the lack of player skills, but he does have a really good card, right? 95 tackling, 91 aggression, he's down as a box to box. 80 acceleration with 80 physical contact, 80 tight possession and 75 low pass. If you're able to give him a couple of nice, you know, player skills like blocker, maybe one touch pass, that would be quite nice as well. Um, I do recommend him. And then also these two boys. So these two are very interchangeable, right? Declan Rice is perhaps one of the best center backs in the game. Yes, I said that correctly, center back, right? So the key thing with Declan Rice, if you are playing him center back, is you need to give him something like heading, you need to give him acrobatic clearance, you need to give him acrobatic, uh, or you need to give him blocker, he has everything else fine, he's got a bit about him as well to be able to like play a little bit of ball, that is the guy that we've given him there, with 14 into defending, 6 into aerial strength, 5 and 5 into dexterity and lower body, stamina is 90, speed is 75, acceleration is 70, this is kind of an all-rounder build for Declan Rice, okay, um, I will do, I am going to be doing a couple of individual player guides, so keep an eye out on that, but my thumbs up does go to Declan Rice and Gavardial as well. He's got blocker, interception, man marking, aerial superiority, acrobatic clearance, fighting spirit, heading and pinpoint crossing. It's an extremely good card. You can play him left back as well. This is a center back build, very similar to Declan Rice. So similar height, similar weight, both different play styles, but Gavardial is a left footer as well. Similar speed and acceleration, although Gavardial's speed is, is quite nice. Um, stamina is a bit of an issue with Gavardial, but you're not going to be running the pitch with him. And it doesn't really compare to the big time, you know, because you'd more levels to go um, with the big time. But definitely defensively, he is a more aggressive tackler. And with the way the gameplay has gone, this Gavardial is an absolute beast if you don't have other versions of the card. Like, look at this player of the week, which a lot of people like to use, or even this one. There's a lot to love about this new card. If you do get Gavardial, I definitely recommend training him up because he's an absolute beast, right? Even here with 91 jump, right? We can actually take this away here and we can pop four more into that to go to 93 jump there, which is quite insane for a player um, with these abilities, right? So yeah, that is it for me, lads. I'll be back short and sweet. Training guys, reviews and breakdowns. My thumbs up goes to Chong. It also goes to Rice, Gavardil and Basuma, and then the rest are kind of either hit or miss, depending on what squad you have and what players you have. Brilliant for newcomers, not so much for people that have been playing the game for a long time. So don't forget to subscribe, we'll talk to you in a bit. Peace!